in this module you will understand another concept central concept of our course we have already talked about discourse discourses gender discourse and gender discourses and how discourse is related or how discourse turns into ideology and now and other third dimension is added to this discussion we start from everyday talk with the passage of time that becomes discourse then that discourse becomes ideology when power element is added and then what adds to that is hegemony now let's try to understand this in this module if the discourse is attached with people of power again habitus position your class your status is involved wherever this thing is involved we call that habitus is involved according to again the ideas of bardu it is enough places it is in enough places and everyday discourse it means the discourse of the powerful is also powerful everybody talks about it it is talked about every forum in conferences in classrooms in press everywhere people talk about it because it was floated by people of power people of position people of status even its origin and history are marked nobody tries to explore what its history is what is its origin and it becomes ideology dominant ideology this ideology gets power over those ideologies over those competing discourses which are weak because they were offered by weak people people who are not influential are as much powerful as those who who in fact uh, spread the dominant discourse people accept it as reality and this becomes something natural and as we discussed in previous modules by natural we mean here in this course are in discussion on discourse natural means the concept the idea about which we don't demand any kind of explanation and this is also known as naturalization so see the discourse originates from people of position they are powerful and gradually this discourse is spread throughout the society in different uh, discourses in different uh, forums it is talked about and gradually it dominates other competing ideologies and discourses and it becomes natural it becomes something true or fact nobody questions it gramsci says an italian philosopher italian intellectual who was influenced by marxist theory he says that when power comes from everyday discourse as we are talking about here it shows transformation of thought and society because people at the grassroots level in every segment of the society they all are talking about the same thing that was floated by some powerful person or organization or any country so everybody talks about it it means that that discourse has taken a grip of the whole society or a major segment of the society so gramsci says when this happens we say that this is not just ideology this is hegemony as a conclusion we can say that every day talk reveal ideas about gender because we want to apply all these concepts to gender so when we apply them to gender we say that every day talk about gender 
it reveals our thinking our ideas about gender then these ideas spread through talk and become discourse the acceptance of discourse as natural becomes ideology this change in wider part of society through ideology is hegemony hegemony is an ongoing process and ideology just triggers this starts this process and if it is an ongoing process so it means it never ends it is never complete to understand gender ideology we should come to understand hegemony the process of transformation i would like to assign you a task so that you understand these concepts and their interrelationship and their relationship with gender women are not secure in pakistan this is everyday discourse minorities are not protected in pakistan this is also everyday discourse and this discourse is spread through media through propaganda through conferences international forums etc etc so you will see all the processes involved which we have talked about in this module what you require to do is apply the information you got in this module to show how this common talk becomes a discourse then that discourse turns into ideology and then that ideology transforms society and becomes hegemony